Master of Science Epidemiology allows students to study at one of the leading universities in the world, in the heart of London, and the ability to be taught by world-renowned researchers in the field of both chronic and infectious disease epidemiology. I think one of the exciting things for students coming on this course is that they really are being taught right in the middle of a very vibrant and productive School of Public Health. Working and studying at the Imperial School of Public Health offers a, a unique opportunity to be involved both at the research level to better understand disease causation and prevention and translating this knowledge into public health measures, both nationally and internationally. Because epidemiology is a rapidly evolving discipline, we want to provide our students with a, both a solid grounding in the principles of epidemiology, but also the ability to um, specialise in specific areas, with particular emphasis on the study of outbreaks, genetic and molecular epidemiology, spatial epidemiology. For four months at the end of the course, students have an amazing opportunity to work right alongside these leading research groups. They'll be doing their own novel research and often these result in publications that go into leading scientific journals. After finishing my master's thesis um, in HIV research, I decided to go on to do a PhD in the same field. Um, and it was a really great experience to work in, in this very vibrant school with um, all these experts who are leaders in their fields. Imperial School of Public Health was itself ranked among the two top public health and epidemiology institutions in the previous research assessment exercised by the UK authorities. Our School of Public Health has the opportunity to take advantage of major development in other disciplines, in ranging from health economics to the use of new technologies for improving health services and the public health. The majority of our students go on to pursue doctoral programmes either here at Imperial or elsewhere, but we've had a large number who also go on to work in governmental positions or who, for example, work for non-profit organisations.